What's going on everybody? Cam's Life 12 and I'm back with a little different video. I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but the VR30 platform is starting to get faster and more reliable. But before we begin, should I do the video here in the house? So this is a different style of video. You guys are used to seeing me go to car shows. Is that a super? And do Q50 content on the Q here. But today, I'll be talking about the VR30 engine or VR30 platform. So the guys that do keep up with the VR30 platform, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are starting to see that this platform is taking off. But before we get into that, I just want to give a shout out to Heme Dollars. That man has been killing it for this platform. If you haven't went to his channel, be sure to go over it right now. Subscribe, tell him Camps Life 12 sent you because he has been racing any and everything in his Q50 Resport on stock turbos. I think he's gonna have um, pure turbos put on and then once he does that, it's a wrap. Also, shout out to Boost in Motion for holding it down for the Q50 community. I guess you could say Q62, the VR30 platform in general. He has very useful and helpful tips and tricks over there. So be sure to head out to his channel and Daily Q50 for also holding it down. For the Q50s, running nine seconds. And also shout out to all tuners of the Q50, such as Racebox, Sonic Tuning. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed you, but those are the two that I keep up with. And let's go. Brief summary of the VR30. It is a twin turbo B6. Many of you probably don't know this, but the head and block in these cars are aluminum to try to keep the weight down as it is a family sedan. The VR30 engine was first announced by Infinity on December 15, 2015. So pretty much, if you have these cars on the list, you have a VR30 engine. If you have a 2016 to present Q50, VR30. If you have a 2017 to present Q60, VR30. All right, relax. I'm for this next one I'm about to say. If you have a 2019 to present Skyline, not in the US, these are mainly in Japan, you have a VR30 engine. If you're going to purchase the new Nissan Z, guess what you're gonna have? A VR30 engine. You're probably watching this like, what is he talking about explode? All I'm saying is my opinion, these cars are about to get faster than what they are. They're your typical luxury sports sedan, but people are pushing the limits to them currently. If you would just go to like Q50, Q60 forums on Facebook, um, follow people on Instagram, you will see what this platform is getting ready to do. They're gonna shake up some haters and hurt a lot of feelings if I'm being honest. Anytime you can pull up to the typical American muscle and keep up with them or either beat them in a family sedan, I think you're doing well. But I know there are fast family sedans that are Americanized, such as the CTSBs and things like that. One of the most common issues with these engines I, that I have seen, being that it's still kind of a new platform, have been turbos and the belts. If you don't know, the VR30 is direct fuel injected, which is awesome to help improve performance for these cars. If you purchase the rest port, your car comes from the factory with already 400 horsepower and 350 feet pounds of torque. If you have just the Silver Sport or the Lux or just a normal Q50 3.0T, you come with 300 horsepower and 295 feet pounds of torque. The difference between the Red Sports and the normal Q50s, Q60s is the Red Sports come with two water pumps to help cool down those turbos because these cars can get heat soaked. Most people do get aftermarket heat exchangers for these cars because they do become heat soaked after a very minimal pull, which is, I mean, I guess it is what it is. These cars are, once again, family luxury sedans. They're not meant to be beat on every single day. With that being said, I know a lot of people complain about the turbos and the belts going out, but like I said, you have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing. Getting these cars tuned can result in that, but I see the tuners are actually becoming very, very, very well equipped to tune these cars without breaking. There's no shade or disrespect to anybody. I'm just saying the threshold and the level of what can be done with tune is becoming awesome. Another common problem for these cars, or believe it or not, fuel injector failures. Yes, fuel injector failures have been said to be a problem for these. I don't see that as much as they claim they happen. So like I said, I'm not bashing this car. I love this car. I did start off with the five things I hate about this car video, but over the last six months I have grown and began to like this car and it actually is very fun to drive. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'll give you a quick garage walk around of the car. So if you're new to the channel, this is my Q50 Sport. 
as you see for the most part it is very stock the only thing i have done to this car is the spoiler and the exhaust i'm not about to get up underneath there but yeah I recently just washed it. She was dirty. I went in some mud trying to get a thumbnail and the result was pure dirt everywhere.